Guys, let me tell you what's going on right now. They're stacked all the way up. Look at that. Yank! They're stacked all the way up. This is the orange Poseidon. Guys, look at this. They're stacked all the way up. You see, you can see that tree. And listen, let me tell you what happened. I was over there fishing. You guys saw me earlier in the segment over there fishing. And my buddy called me saying, Cam, come on here. Look, 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 look. Guys, whoo. For lack of better terms, I got to show y'all this shell cracker. For those of you guys that think you may be in the market that need a two-man boat, this is a 10-footer Bass Raider 10E. It's already pre-wired for electrical. You can carry two motors. You see, this is my rig. This is a 2021. The one that I have right now is brand new. It comes with a motor, battery, cams, tackle box, two signature series rod and reels. Um, it comes with uh, a nine-foot. You get three kits, 240 pieces, hooks, and lures. Okay, it's brand new, never been in the water before. Plus, you get the paddle, you get the seats, you get everything that you see here shipped right directly to your door. Okay, so if you think that you may be in the market for a boat, guys, I got it. And as the weather gets warm, these bad boys are going to become extremely rare. Okay, I've been fishing on this boat now for seven years. I've had these. Time I get them, people always buy them from Cam. I want your boat, I want yours. So if you think you're in the market, as soon as you go to camscrappyhole.com, you'll see it. When you stroll down, you'll see that Bass Raider 10E. It's already pre-wired. It comes with every bit of the manufacturer's warranty, including the battery. You get brand new battery, brand new motor. Everything's in the box. Plus, you get two of my best rod and reel signature series. Like I said, you get the nine-foot yank stick. You get the seats. You get the paddle. You get everything that you see here. Okay? The only difference is it's brand new with a brand new pinstripe, brand new paint job. 2022. Check it out. So what you do, you just, you just toss Okay, and you hope for the better. Yank! Yank! <laughs> guys, look at these shell crackers. Man, let me turn you guys around. I'm trying to do, this is that green. Look at the size. Actually, guys, this is a bluegill. Man, the bluegills are hitting hard today. Whew. Let me turn you around. Let me push you guys back a little so you can see this. Man, oh man, oh man, listen. I want you guys to understand what I'm doing. Um, I'm freelining. I'm making it look as if this worm is just falling out of the tree. So it falls very, very slow in the water column. Look at this bluegill. We're gonna, my neighbor wants about 12 of them. So I'm gonna take her a dozen and my other buddy wants about 25. So we're gonna fill this order probably within the next 30 minutes, okay? And listen, I have no anchor down. I have no anchor. Listen, I'll po again, I'm supposed to be going to go get my anchor. So I, so I can anchor down with you guys, okay? To show you the real good footage. The real good footage. But let me tell you something. I can't leave. You know why I can't leave? Let me turn you back around. I can't leave because of that tug. It's on the line. And again, I'm running my entry level, guys. My entry level. My emerald. I don't quite know where the bed is, so I got to kind of figure it out, okay? Whoa, Yank! Look at that. Unbelievable. I thought I was getting ready to reel it back in and throw it back out. Bert, I know I'm supposed to be going to go get the anchor. <laughs> mm. Listen, you choose what you want. Whether you want the slow death hooks or whether you want the nasty bend metal hook. Right now, I'm running that, nasty, that, that slow death. Right now, let me get all the leaves off of there. And listen, I got an anchor already on the back, but in order to, stab to stabilize the boat real good, I run two anchors. So the boat won't be moving around on me. And these rascals done stretch my line already. Okay, we're gonna go back up there again. Where are you?
There you go. Let's get back up there again. Boom. One flick of the wrist. Just a worm. Yank! Just a worm. Just a worm. <laughs> Guys, listen. Time it, Bert. Time it hits the water. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to go, go get the anchor, guys. Let me turn you down so you can see this fight. And let me tell you this. I got worm dirt all over the camera. Look at this bluegill. You remember I mentioned to you guys that bluegill and shell crackers are first cousins. Okay? Look at that bluegill. Look at that. So in that same bed, I'll catch shell crackers and I'll catch um, bluegill. AKA Brent. Listen, I've also guys, I want to tell you this. I'm gonna listen, I know I'm supposed to have two anchors, but I'm just, I'm just gonna drop one anchor and go up a little bit. I got three beds right here in front of me. Yesterday these beds wasn't here. Let me drop this anchor real quick, guys. What was I supposed to be going to do? <laughs> Y'all heard him say, I'm supposed to be going to go get the anchor, right? Y'all heard him. I've caught three fish off of this one worm. Yank! There we go. Another bluegill. Let me turn you guys down so you can see it. Another bluegill. This is a blue yesterday. This was a a shell cracker bed. Guys, this is a nice anywhere around the country. This is a respectable bluegill. Look at this. Wow. Let me tell you this. I got about I got about nine beds around here. We're not going to be able to get to all of them. Let me show this to you. Look at that. Let's put him in the basket. I'm going to throw towards the back of the wall. Let's see what happens. Remember, I'm free line, okay? So I'm just, as soon as that worm hits, I point my rod tip. Let me make sure I got you guys here. I point my rod tip right down to the ground and let that monofilament lay on, on top of the water. Let's go down a little bit. Let's see what happens down here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Where are you guys? Unbelievable. <laughs> Let me turn you guys around so y'all can see me. Today alone in the last 72 hours. In the last 72 hours I've spent $52, ouch, in red worms. I got 10 containers still in the refrigerator and I've cut through about nine of them already. Let's put him in the basket. Oh, let me show him to you. Let me show you his bluegill. Let me show him to you. See that hump on there? On his head? I don't want to get stuck, so that's why I'm trying to get him in the water. Now. Now, technically, I'm going to let Bert pull in here. I'm going to go ahead and go get the anchor. Guys, stay tuned for a minute. Let me go get the anchor. I'm going to pull out, and I'll be right back. I'm going to get myself together here. All right. For you guys that don't know me, my name is Cam. I'm with Cam's Crappy Hole. And um, we're doing something a little bit different today. We're doing simple fishing. Um, you guys can see from the video... Um, that we're using my ultralights and one of the reasons why I, cre why I created 109 different uh, crappie excuse me rod and reels was because I, there were a lot of rods that were on the market that I tested that I didn't like okay that I purchased from here purchased from the big box store and over time I just didn't like it I've always been always been fishing for crappie um, in this channel here we are a crappie enthusiast best dream 
okay? Because all we do is specialize in crappie and panfish, all right? I want to tell you guys, this time of the year when you're catching crappie, this, this little device here can be your best friend. Whenever you're catching bluegill, whenever you're catching big shell crackers, AKA brim, make sure you take plenty of pictures because what this phone will do, it'll be your personal secretary. It will turn around and it will date them and log them in your archive. And this time next year, it'll put it back in front of your face so you'll know. So play, take plenty of pictures. I want to tell you guys that. Now, back to what, 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 what I was discussing with um, our equipment, our outfits that I'm running. I had several people to ask me, Cam, listen, I bought the Orange Poseidon, but I want to see you use it, okay? That's one of the reasons why I'm running the Orange Poseidon right now. All of my rods, guys, my uh, cast and, my, uh, cast and retrieve, uh, they weigh equivalent to three pair of household scissors. That's how light they are. Why are they light like that? Because I run carbon fiber. I don't run graphite. I don't run composite, guys, okay? This is the Orange Poseidon. Why is it called the Orange Poseidon? Because I designed it. Okay, I picked the color. I, I designed the EVA split grip. Comfort, they're soft, okay? Fuji Real C, you guys have heard me say that. If you're right or left handed, it doesn't matter. You can use it on both, all right? This is a seven ball bearing, uh, rod and reel six plus one. And you can see me in the video using it, okay? Um, the ceramic guides, all of it. The, the pinstriping guides, I, I designed every bit of it, okay? As a matter of fact, look at the co color coordinated tip. I did that, Cam did that, okay? Who else would know better crappie fishing and pan fishing than a guy that does it every day? You guys, I'm easy accessible. There ain't nobody else on YouTube that gets out here every week, or every two weeks, and shows you guys exactly how his equipment works. I'm not talking about somebody that 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 just uses the equipment. I'm talking about the person that designs it, created it, manufactured it. I'm the one that's out there showing you guys how my equipment works. Okay, you can see it. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. Sit back in the comforts of your own home and just relax and watch me. Okay, watch these big shell crackers. To me, the shell crackers are pound for pound one of the, if not the strongest fighting freshwater fish that there is. If you haven't experienced shell cracker, AKA red ear, guys, you gotta take your kids, you gotta take your wife, you gotta take your girlfriend, take them out. And they're easy to find this time of the year. Once that water temperature reaches about 68, 67, 68, 69, 70, the bluegill will come in first. They're not as picky as the shell crackers. Once that water temperature reaches 71, 72, the shell crackers will come in and bed. Listen, God, God already gave you everything that you need to locate them. You got your nose, your eyes, and your ears, okay? Just walk around the lake. In my case, I have to have a boat. And ride around the lake and just look for the beds. Use a pair of polarized shades to filter out that blue light, and you can find them without a problem, okay? Um, so for those subscribers that want to see me use the, the uh, Orange Poseidon, Guys, I hear you. I hear everything. My grandmother once told me, in order to be a good leader, you must first be a good servant. Okay? So whenever you guys need me, whenever you have questions, I'm an easy person to reach, guys. Always in the comments. Uh, you can also follow me on Instag Instagram at Cam's Crappy Hole and Apparel. Okay? We're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers uh, on Instagram, guys. And also click that button on, on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. Um, because we're trying to hit 30,000 subscribers. So click that red button right below the video and make sure after you click that button, you'll see a bell. Make sure that bell is clicked that you want all notifications. Some, pe some people hit me up and they say, Cam, well, you know, I, I don't get but every few of your, your notifications. That's because the bell didn't click, okay? Listen, before we get ready to get back again, I want to cover some more of the equipment that we're using. This is the Emerald. This is my entry level, okay? All of these rod and reels can be purchased right down there at camscrappyhole.com, okay? And I have a finance company called Afterpay. I fought tooth and nail to get this, this finance company in there so it can help you guys retain, uh, obtain some of my items and you don't have to work it into your budget. Let's say, okay, for example, this rod right here is $79.99. Let's just say it's 80 bucks, okay? So, at check out you go into our store camscrappyhole.com you go in and you check out and you see what you want you want the emerald all that's due at checkout with your credit card or your debit card just like you're in the store checking out is 20 20 once you pay that 20 dollars, guys you get free shipping i two-day air this to you two-day air that cost me 20 bucks right there just a two-day air it's free okay anything above 35 dollars, you get free shipping i downsized to the six foot emerald <laughs> Guys, this is one of the smoothest three ball bearings. This is my entry level, and you'll see it at work, okay? By the way, when I was filming this segment, I had 
earthworm juice. I had dirt all over the camera from bending all over the camera from bending it up and bending it down. You guys have to see that, man. But listen, the um, emerald comes pre-spooled with with lime green line. Okay, I took that off because I like a, 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 it's, it's professionally smooth spooled. So if you guys uh, don't like spooling, this this rod and reel combo automatically comes spooled. Okay, but I took that off and I wanted to run that fluorescent orange camo. Okay, and Guys, those shell crackers stretch my line out big time too. Let me show you this. Matter of fact, let me let me get this other one here, the orange beside. Let me show you the hook that I was using. I'll just show you the hook itself. These are my cams, nasty bend mental hooks. They come in a deadly blood red. Okay, I'm running a one off. The reason why I'm running a one off, guys, because I'm trying to get my hook back as fast as possible. Throw that shell cracker in the basket and get back in the water. As long as this hook stays out of the water, you're not going to unequivocally. You're not going to catch. Uh, panfish, you're not gonna catch crappie, you're not gonna catch shell crackers, you're not gonna catch big bull bluegill or brim. Okay, so with the one ot, I just back it right out. Now, if I run a number two or number four, it's gonna be all the way down his throat. That means I gotta get my needle nose pliers, I gotta pull that out and do all that. That's gonna take time and effort, and sometimes I have to cut and retie. That means I gotta do all that. With these one odds, you can get them right at camscrappyhole.com. I automatically just back it out. You'll see it on the video. Let me give you a real close look at that uh, nasty bend mental hook. Can you guys see that straight shaft? But look at that deep, deep bend right right in, in, in the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at the, the, the point is, is, is uh, barbed. It's bent backwards. So once that hook goes in there, it doesn't come out, okay? I'm running one eye. Yes, I'm running one eye. If you decide that you want number two, we have them in number twos as well. But I run a one eye. Also, on the Emerald, I have the, nasty, the uh, slow death hook. And it's a one out as well. I have them in a value pack of 40, and I, this is a 20 pack. Okay, you can decide whichever one that you want. The sun's starting to catch up with me here a little bit. It's getting kind of hot. So I'm going to wrap this up real quick. This is the Deadly Blood Red. The reason why we call it Slow Death, look at, look at that, that rotation in that, in that shaft. You see how it's bent? That right there, guys, and all of my hooks are laser sharpened. Look at that. Okay? So that right there assures a serious, serious... Um, hook set let me show it to you one more time so you can see it that's that slow death we have it in a value pack of 40 and we also have it in a value pack uh, of 20 whichever one that you want now this hook also is three in one I use it to catch bluegill I use it to catch uh, big shell crackers also I use it to catch crappie now I'm freelining okay I'm freelining guys let me show you wh what I mean by freelining I'm not using nothing but a hook okay I'm using nothing but a hook. Let me see if I can get it off here real quick. There we go. There we go. So the reason why I'm using nothing but just a hook, you can hear that drag system on this on this uh, orange beside, is because I want it to look natural falling in the, in the water column. See, I'm just throwing a hook. The reason why I'm running ultralights is because my gear is de designed to throw ultralight items, a 132nd, 116, a 18. okay? If you're coming out there with one of those bait casters, 72, 73 foot re reel, you cannot throw just a regular earthworm, okay, with just a hook, okay? You're talking about uh, backlash, you're going to get it big time. You come out there with a big saltwater reel, it's not going to go 12 yards. Watching the video with a flick of the wrist, I just throw it using two regular earthworms those are red worms by the way that i'm using you can get those in any big box store and i throw it with that with these old six foot ultralights 12 yards okay and when it hits the water it falls very slow and with this high vis line as soon as i throw it i leave it on top of the water so i can see when the shell cracker hits listen guys this is very simple fishing 101 all you need is an ultralight rod and reel preferably a cams okay and all you need is a pack of slow death hooks to make sure that you don't lose anything or that nasty bend mental hook. Everything's available with free shipping. Also, I want to add before we go, if you're the, a person that has a reel that needs a rod or if you got a rod and you need a reel, Cam's Crappy Combos is open too. You can buy separately. Cam's Crappy Combos. You can buy each item separately. Also, in camscrappycombos.com, we have shop pay. You remember the example I used with Afterpay at camscrappyhole.com about just paying a portion and the other three payments are due bi-weekly, okay, with no interest? We have it also shop pay in Cam's Crappy Combo. So that takes this thing out of it. Listen, let's get back to fishing. This is your boy Cam. Let's see if we can yank some more out of here, okay? Yank! 
entire wall is just filled with 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 beds okay so I'm, I'm so happy that you guys are here to tag along with me listen i finally went and got my anchor so we're just pulling back up you can see my buddy over there in the corner and i'm gonna try to let him because i've caught in the last 72 hours at least a couple of hundred okay so i'm gonna let him enjoy that spot down there meanwhile you got me and you guys we're going to see if we can find another bed you saw me using the emerald okay now i'm going to pick up the orange for sight okay the orange for sight i was running the um the uh, nasty bend mental hook we got some little guests so i want you guys to understand we got some some dogs over there so they may be a little bit rowdy with me being at the back porch we're going to try now we're going to put on the slow death we're going to see if we can try some other beds and we're going to see if we can meet up with with him right down there my buddy bird okay let's reel this again that's the emerald <clears throat> pull you down just a little bit that's the emerald we're going to put it up now we're going to run the orange for sighting you remember i had a few subscribers say cam i got the orange for sighting but um I'd like to see you do a video on the Orange Recycling. Well, guys, I'm doing a video right now. I'm going to see if we can have some luck. We're just, we're just going to probe right down here and see if we can find a couple of beds. Okay, that's all we're doing. You guys saw from the cutaway what I was using, my, my outfit. Now, one thing I do want to say, if you want to spend the little extra money, the Orange Recycling is $109. $109.99, it comes with free shipping, and it has seven ball bearings. The Emerald has three. We're just gonna see if we can locate them. Look at them big rascals up there. <laughs> we don't want them angry at all. There you go. Now again, I just toss it over there, and just, when it hits the water, don't move the line. Yank, yank, look at that. Unbelievable, let me turn you guys down. Let me turn you guys down. Guys, this bed is active. This has got to be a shell cracker. This has got to be a shell cracker fighting this hard. Oh, it's a big bluegill. The bluegills are definitely out today. We didn't even drop anchor. Listen, hey, listen, let me tell you guys this. Let me tell you guys this. After all that talking about going to get an anchor, after all that talking, talking about going to get an anchor, look, I didn't even drop the anchor. Boy, that sun is really bright. Turn this bad boy. Up. Look at that. Whoa! Let me pull you down just a little bit. Look at that. Look at that big. Look at that big rascal. Unbelievable. That's that slow death. One hot hook. You saw how fast I got it back. <clears throat> if I was running a number two, or if I was running a number four or six, I have to get all the way down in his gills to get it out. And I don't want to do that. Why? Because I put that bad rascal right there. Put him over here, and we're back in, we're back in the water again. Yank! There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at that bluegill. Man, that's nice. Let me pull you guys down so you see this fight. Look at that. Man, orange for sight. Look at the size of this bluegill. Let me pull out a little bit. Let me tell you something that you guys, this is important for you to remember when you're going out, depending on geographically where you're located. Bluegill will start to bed when the water temperatures are a touch warmer than shell crackers. Okay? Look at that. That's that slow death hook. Now watch how I bag this rascal out of here. I want to make sure he doesn't stick me. Man, this is a big bluegill. Watch this. You see? I'm ready to get back in the water now. I'm ready. I'm ready to get back in the water. Yank! Look at that. Let's put him in the basket. One odd slow death. One odd nasty bend mental hook. Guys, they're three in one. I catch shell crackers with them. I catch big bluegill and I catch crappie. And we also have the spit shots. Also have the spit shots available. Okay? Don't have bobbers yet. Let's put him in the basket. Unbelievable. He says it ain't Santee Cooper. Make sure I got you guys. Look at that. I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention. 
God, yay! I wasn't even paying attention. He almost pulled the rod clean out of my hand. Another big bluegill. Let me see if I can turn you guys down so you can see this. Wow. Guys, let me tell you this. This is a perfect way to end this segment. Um, today was a bluegill day. And on my other video, you guys saw that I was catching those big shell crackers. And like I said, they, they bed out of the same bed, okay? That's, look at that. That's that slow death. One hot. Why? Because I put it in there and I back it right out and I'm ready to get back in up there and catch some more dinner. These guys are very, very delectable eating fish, okay? With a salad, with some fries. Guys, whoo, good eating fish. This is an age-old argument which one tastes better between bluegill, shell crackers, or crappie. Let's put them in the basket. Those lines tight and we'll see you on the next turn, all right? Hey man, I'm tired of you running in my boat. Look, look where you at. <laughs> look, I understand you blocking me, but you, hey, look, watch yourself, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> hey, that brother, they're going hard in the paint. That brother say, listen, I ain't, ain't no shame in what I do.